All right, guys, you join us in London. We have just landed after being at uh, Circuit Estoril all day for the second day of the XX program. And you join me in a Mirage GT. The Speedster is behind me, Lawrence is in that. We're convoying to London, where we're gonna spend the next couple of days here, enjoying the sights, enjoying the sounds. We've got an Aston Martin factory tour tomorrow which is very exciting because we're going to be seeing the Valkyrie AMR Pro for the very first time in person. A few surprises along the way, so let's get into it. So we've just finished up at the Aston Martin factory. Unfortunately, I couldn't video anything because they made us put our phones in uh, in pow pouches. So we couldn't video anything, but I can't wait to show you what uh, a car we spec'd. And now we're off to get kebabs and some shisha. Guys, welcome to the video. Today, Lawrence is taking delivery of his Chiron Super Sports which is just over here in the window. We have an ivory beige colored Phantom, which is, looks fantastic. And then a Mirage GT and Ashton Speedster. VJ's just joined us. The massive photographers. So we're gonna take you inside here for the delivery of a Chiron Super Sports. This is an unbelievable day. Honestly, so excited, I'm excited for us, I'm excited, especially for him. Delivery day. This is the key not to lose. Mm. Yeah, that's the main key. Mm -hmm. This is the, the high speed key. So if you ever want to do high speed mode, <laughs> that will, that, that will go in the car as well. There is a okay. slot for that in so the So you need to use that to activate the high speed. Oh. Yeah. Um, is that a just, speed, um, uh, does it remove the speed limiter or something? It does, yeah. What's yeah. the speed limiter set at? Uh, so it's 230, I think 235, and then with that, it's miles? to the 273. No, miles. 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 Yeah. Oh, miles. Okay. Yeah. Miles per hour. Um, so it would be like above 350. 400. Yeah, yeah 400. Uh, we've got... Six, six. I've got a spare set of number plates there for you. Okay. Uh, I've fitted the plates on the car, but there is a spare set if you're having anything done to the car. Um, just under here, what we've got is the car cover for the car. So um, again, that will, that's the proper car cover, will cover the car completely. Okay. Great. Oh, Adrian, what the charger? The charger's in the car. In the so, car. Yeah, I'll show you all that when we go to the car. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, everything is branded and made to be similar to the configuration of your car. So it's fully exposed carbon fiber and tangerine, black and tangerine color as well to match your car. <laughs>
We shut it down. <laughs> we shut it down. <laughs> we'll get another play. I will stack you on even if it's not mentioned. <laughs> 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 guys the hype and the build-up and the emotions from taking delivery yesterday of the Chiron have died down Saturday morning in London so we thought we had a bit of time we would catch up with a friend again to have a look at some of his cars and here's our friend <laughs> how's it going good to see you guys you too buddy so yeah welcome thank you thank you very much thanks for having I, us I'm mind blown right now because you've not only turned up with one epic car but a line of epic cars come on in come on in let's go have a look around well, it's not just our cars, it's your cars. <laughs> so guys, obviously, this is the Schmuseum. If you don't follow it, you should on Instagram. And basically, this is a collection of all your cars here? Or some There's of them? There's only one on here at the moment. Basically everything's here. Okay, cool. Basically everything's here. But, you know, cars that obviously you've seen before, Ford GT, Zembo. Zembo is the, let's say, flagship of the collection at the moment. Um, but a mix of cars, you know, I've everything from the Clio V6 and the BMW 1M through to the potential supercars. Love to drive, love to travel like you guys, although perhaps not even quite as adventurously as you do. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll argue that. <laughs> so yeah, it's really, really cool to finally see. Uh, I've obviously, again, seen the Ford GT back in California a few years ago, but it's cool to see all of, of, of Tim's cars in person. Um, I'm actually going to take him for a spin in the Mirage GT as we head back to central London. Hopefully, let's get the pants off him. And then... Uh, uh, we'll be a little bit casual. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks for having us. Okay guys, now we've got a bit of uh, a bit of quiet time to ourselves, I thought I'd walk you around the Mirage GT. For those who don't know a bit about it, it is one of 25 ever produced. This is number 22 of 25, and it's the last one to, produ uh, to come off the Gambala production line. A uh, bit of history about it, this is created by the old Gambala. There is a new Gambala, which we're also about to purchase a car from, which is called the Marcian. But this is from, uh, harks back to the original Gambala, which produced some of the craziest cars in the 70s, 80s and 90s, the 911 Avalanche. And uh, for those who are crazy enough to customize their uh, Carrera GT, the Mirage GT. Exterior wise, we painted it uh, Gentian Blue, which is from the new 992 range. Again, we wanted to bring up a bit of a hybrid between new Porsche and old Porsche. What they've changed is the uh, front bumper, new rims, new side skirts, new rear bumper, giant wing, and a roof scoop. Basically a whole new transformation. It is a new car, uh, and it's very, very, very cool. So, Interior wise, we went for a Rosso, uh, sorry, not Rosso, we went for uh, Cuyo leather, which is a, a Ferrari leather because uh, Lawrence's, one of Lawrence's favorite cars is the Speciale Aperta that we have back home, and that is Cuyo leather as well. It's been a monster to drive around London. Let me show you the interior quickly. So, again, fully transformed, uh, all the silver on the dashboard is gone, replaced with carbon fiber, and obviously the Cuyo leather interior. It's a pretty special place to be. One thing, the biggest thing you'll notice is it has a screen. 
Micro OG Ts, one of the biggest things, they, biggest things they lack is a screen, obviously for Apple CarPlay, which didn't exist back in the day, and a reverse camera. So instead of guessing and obviously fiddling around with the clutch because it's a nightmare, you now got a bit of confidence when you're reversing into parking spaces. Uh, this is most certainly not the uh, easiest car to uh, drive around London, but uh, I'm going to show you what the new exhaust sounds like. So there you go, it's still extremely hard to get out of. But yeah, Mirage GT guys, number 22, 025. Uh, and it, yeah, hopefully it'll come to Perth. Going to supercharge it for VF, so I think it'd be like the first VF engineering supercharged Torato in the world. First time seeing one, looks a bit silly, but that's what Lambos are, they're silly. Perfect wet weather car, yeah. Here's a mixture of i8 here, Lambos for a wet weather day. It's pretty cool that everyone supported uh, and came out for this drive. It's an RUK technology slash uh, 1016 Industries cruise. And, uh, and meat, and uh, yeah, so we brought the Speedster and the Chiron down. <laughs> 